New Day of Athens. It's me, Skinly. Welcome back to Let's Play Blood Omen, the legacy of Cain. Where we finished that tomb and got our light spell, which again is probably going to be the most used spell that we get because, you know, for being a vampire we can't see in the dark. So let's continue on now that we've cleared that tomb and find out what else we have. Night now dawns, and with it the vampire grows stronger. Give me your blood. Now, I will apologize now because I haven't, like, watched a walkthrough or anything for this. This is all off of my memory from, like, 20 years ago, so I apologize if I do miss things. And there will be, uh, mistakes and stuff that I make, obviously. Was that, like, a lion or something? Nachtom. Mm -hmm. That was a cave, all right. Oh, I see. I think I remember what this place is. I'm not gonna save it right now. I'm gonna wait till we finish, and then uh, then I'll save it. Cause I don't think I need to right now. My lupine form enables me to move like lightning and leap over obstacles barring my path. But the guise of the wolf brings with it its own kind of hunger and rage. So yeah, in case you didn't know, we can change forms. Flay. These. Uh, yeah, Cain has the ability to change into different animals and different forms. Because obviously he can change into bats and fly around the place if he needs to. But this is one of his cooler sides of things. But I can't really remember how to how to do it. Is it an item or is it a spell? I don't really remember. Because again, the game doesn't really tell you all that much. But you can look around at the map. That's quite nice, actually. I forgot that this game let you do that. Uh, is it this? Nope. Is it this? Hey, there we go. So yeah, we can change it to our bat form. We can change it to our wolf form. Let's change it to our wolf form. Look. Yeah, so our attack is a lot slower, but we can jump. We can now jump over things. So, yeah. We have extra fun to do. Uh... Because I can't make that jump yet, because that jump's really far. I think you can only really jump, like, maybe two blocks at best. Yeah, you're barely making two and two, two to three jumps. Let's change back. But it's really cool. It adds, like, a whole different element to the puzzle solving thing. Uh, can I not? You can pretty much do it at will. It does, like... I don't think it eats all that much magic from me, so... Oh, hello, sir. Can I... I can. Oh, I can, I can still drain his blood. <laughs> I didn't realize I could do it from that far. All right. Aha! The, uh... Yeah, the wolf form is... Or the lupine form, I guess. It is pretty fun, but that noise for the jump gets kind of annoying for a while. Okay, you're you're stuck in me, sir, 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 sir lads, sir. Give me your blood. Pathetic. All right, let's switch back. But yeah, the the attack for the for the lupine form is a lot slower, but I guess it's a lot stronger. 
We do have the same issue of, uh, we get hurt by water if we... In any form, because I guess it's still cane, so... And now we can jump up these platforms. Hooray! So many items. I actually didn't mean to jump down without collecting that. But I'm actually going to go back to the entrance, because I don't know if you saw that, but to the right of the entrance of this cave, there was actually some rocks that we could jump up. Now, I don't remember... Oh. Now, this is also a good point to bring in, that you can see that those guys reappeared, but they have, like, purple glowy aura around them. They've appeared, they've reappeared as ghosts, so they're not as strong as they once were, because you can see that they die in one hit rather than... Oh, I can't even go back, I'm being dumb. I need to use the bats for them. And fly back. Um, yeah, they, they reappear, but they have that purple glowy aura around them, so revisiting places like this, like revisiting crypts and tombs and stuff, will... They'll still have the enemies, but it actually makes them harder because I obviously can't drain the blood from them. But it's cool. We do. We have a lot of different forms, which is awesome. So I'm gonna fast travel to the thing that was right there that we just activated, just to kind of one show you how the bat form works, and two because I want to get to the beginning. Yeah, look how cool that is. Like, think of how old this game is, and just think how cool that is. <coughs> <laughs> you know, like, what other game do you know that has, like, portrays vampires so well? It's great. I mean, Oblivion and, like, Elder Scrolls kind of does it, but it's not. Like, you don't feel as strong as you are with, with like, Kane and what have you. I missed, but so did he. Got him. Yeah, the uh, the hitboxes in this game are uh, kind of weird at the best of times. Right, up here. So let's change into the lupine corner here and see where this leads. Because I think this leads possibly to secrets or possibly just like up to the area where we were at. Oh, there's other wolves here. Hello. Oh. More Nachtum. So does this actually lead to the village? Because I might not want to be in my wolf form if that's the case. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a lot of bad guys. Beep. All right, I'm going to change. Nope, that's my spells. I don't need that. Uh, there we go. I want this. So I can ah, do that. <laughs> oh, it's such a good spell. Hey, Victor! Give me your blood! I completely forgot that it tracks. I completely forgot that. Hey, Victor! Die. I do like Simon Templeman's laugh in this, though. It's, it's such an iconic thing of Kane. <sighs> Suck up the blood. So there's a lot of bad guys here, which means... You know what that means. There's lots of stuff protecting this, so... There's a secret. There's some secrets to be had here. Which, this looks fairly big for a tomb or a mausoleum, so... And uh, you know what that means. If it's protected like a bajillion enemies and there is like a massive crypt in that beside it, you know... That means there's secrets. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Die. So no, I have to die that way. Whoops, didn't mean to fire that. Alright, let's go inside this crypt and see what's in here. And then I'm probably going to go back and finish off the lupine cave to see what was up there. You know, because I don't want to, I really don't want to miss things. Hey, there's a save point right here. Nice. All right. Well, we'll call this an episode here. Uh, I'll see you guys next time when we take on this crypt. Tomb, mausoleum, whatever this place is. And uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, I just want to say thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series because I love Legacy of Kane. So, bye.